Hello, and welcome to the Supplier Spotlight. My name is Dan Ostermuller, Head of Supplier Relations at Crux Informatics, and today I am joined by Florin Tufan, CEO and co-founder at Solidify. Welcome, Florin. Hi, Dan. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, can you kick us off by uh, introducing yourself and uh, sharing some, some information about what Solidify does? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm Florian. I'm the CEO of Solidify. Uh, we collect and provide our clients with data on more than 70 million small businesses worldwide. Uh, we use a lot of AI and, and a lot of data science in our product. Uh, we analyze hundreds of billions of public web pages. And just to understand what the company communicates about themselves, uh, update it on a weekly basis and create this huge uh, database with accurate and timely insights on thermographic and technographic uh, attributes of small business. Got it. We've been hearing more and more interest in, in company data broadly defined. Uh, can you give a little bit more information about the, the 70 million uh, companies that you cover and what type of information you have and, and what's most exciting about uh, the product uh, as a whole? Sure, absolutely. Um, I think it's no coincidence that uh, you're, you're hearing more and more interest on, on company data. Uh, it is part of a larger trend of using AI and data science in general to automate a lot of the operations, especially in, in large companies. Uh, there's, there's a lot of processes that have been done on a one on one on one by one principle by a lot of, of companies and now um, they're, they're looking to uh, sort of address the use case on a more broadly spectrum and, and dealing with B2B clients uh, is definitely a big area of interest. Um, traditionally, uh, so traditionally when we speak about company data, we speak of the type of uh, data that um, is provided and sold by the government, uh, typically are acquired through business registries or government data resellers, uh, which is what we call a very skinny data record. So it's just a company legal name, maybe some unique identifier, uh, a legal entity location where the company is registered, um, and then some SIC or Nike's code to indicate uh, uh, what the company does. And typically the information kind of stops there. Um, and that's, well, that's great for some use cases like uh, procurement or some in, in risk management. Um, it cannot help you, for example, uh, segment your client base and uh, get insight on your inbound traffic. It's, it's just not enough data. Um, so one thing that we do is uh, our, our typical company profile has about 50 data points. Um, we look very in depth at, at each one of those questions, like what does the company do, uh, has about 10 answers uh, in, in our technology. So one answer is the standard tree of sector industry category. Uh, but then you have a lot of tags associated with the services or products performed by the company. You have a rich tech company description, which is often used in uh, training machine learning models that, models that, for example, segment the client base as new uh, B2B clients come in. Um, and the same goes for, for location, alternative names, different uh, aspects of the company, recent events, and, and so on. We try to uh, to replicate what a human researcher would, would provide as a company brief. Got it. Sure. So obviously, you know, there's a lot of different use cases uh, that you could pursue with, with that data. What type of companies are you working with, and what type of personas at those companies are you typically working with? Um, sure. Um, I'll I'll answer the second question first. Uh, we typically work with um, uh, the head of the data science. Uh, department, uh, so director VP level typically. Uh, sometimes it happens that we work with, with heads of very specific departments like marketing or uh, risk, uh, but it, it's definitely a more uh, tech or data science focused uh, type of uh, persona. Um, we work with, with companies in, in financial services, all, all types of so bank investment and, and so on, um, but also with large consultancy companies, utilities, uh, companies that in general uh, address a very large number of, of B2B clients and, and uh, inevitably you'll, you'll find lots of SMBs uh, among them. Got it. Um, well, obviously, you know, we've uh, enjoyed working with you, hence the <laughs> not it being a coincidence that, that we are hearing more about uh, requests for company data. Uh, what are you hoping to achieve while working with Crux? 
Sure. So I, I think in, in in data usage in general, I think we're we're at at sort of an inflection point that gets reflected from a lot of perspectives. Um, first of all, there's the global crisis in, in data scientists and AI engineers. Everybody's trying to hire them. Nobody can find uh, enough good ones. Um, and it's because I, I think a lot of companies uh, have, have recently or are starting to understand what's the true potential of data um, in, in more and more use cases. I think, for example, ad tech is, is much more developed than other use cases for, for data, but it's, it shows uh, sort of what can be done. And then um, all, every part of the ecosystem is, is an enabler uh, so that the can uh, turns into a will or an is. Um, and I think data ingestion and, and uh, how you aggregate multiple sources of data, mingle them together with first party data that most of the companies produce um, and then turn them into actionable insights uh, that's a very important component, and I, I think uh, Crocs is a vital, vital part of this ecosystem. Got it. Great. Yeah, your point about working sometimes with the data science teams and sometimes with individual divisions, companies probably be well served uh, to tie those two functions together uh, themselves. And then we're obviously happy to be working with you and helping uh, anyone you're working with uh, ingest their data. Well, listen, Florin, thanks for uh, for taking the time today. Uh, for anybody who's interested in learning more about uh, Solidify's data uh, and how Crux can assist in delivering it, please uh, feel free to get in contact uh, with us. Um, we look forward to continuing to work with with uh, Florin going forward and uh, everybody, thanks for joining today. Thank you, Dan, for having me and thank you, uh, Crux, for working with us.